ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the number one donkey-themed, healing-centric World of Warcraft stream in all of Season of Discovery, Phase 2, and beyond. We are already packed up and good to go for a BFD run. Uh, I have learned that BFD runs are a lucrative way of getting experience and gear. So even post-25, they're worth it. The plan tonight is to run BFD and then Scarlet Monastery until our eyes bleed. Won't you join me, chat, on this adventure? Well, I certainly hope so. Uh, we got a cool new add-on that I want to, like, plug. To maybe anybody else who's playing uh, any classic WoW these days. Um, it's called... LFG bulletin board. You know, finding a group in... Uh... Dude, I feel like they should be paying me for this. But anyway, finding a... <laughs> Are you trying to find a group in Classic WoW, but keeping an eye on chat is just too hard? Too distracting from the intense two-button rotation that you're executing? Well, no longer, chat. Not with... LFG bulletin board with LFG bulletin board at the simple four keystrokes just going through your classic wow rotation two times you can get a summarized version of everything people have been posting in chat over the last few seconds and even information with how long ago they posted it which makes um, finding a group really easy uh, because I think this is like pulling information from other characters, perhaps, that are like in cities. Because you see, I'm a priest on the go. And uh, I'm often out questing in the world where I'm not seeing a lot of the group spam, but I can still see it here. And that's how I got in this group that I'm in right now so quickly. All right. Uh, so, you know in the mail but uh yeah it's pretty sweet man i'm i'm really liking it uh definitely enjoying priest a lot we're gonna make sure we're running prayer of mending tonight over um shadow boys maybe one day we'll replace these white pants so that puts that on you huh Prayer Mending. Oh, I, I love the Prayer Mending sound, dude. The Prayer Mending sound is just music to my ears. Music to my ears. Music to the old ears. All right. All right, looks like we're heading there, which is good because we're basically already here anyway. Quick hop, skip, and a jump away. I don't think we need friendly health bars on. Where would you like to fly to? I would like to go to the Zormgar outpost, friend. So I've heard uh, that. Scarlet Monastery runs are the most lucrative way to level once you get to about the level I'm at, which is 29. Um, whether or not we can stand it, <laughs> like clearing, resetting, clearing, resetting, is another story. But we're no strangers to the grind here. We are no strangers to the grind. We be, we be grinding all of the time. Looks like our internet is behaving tonight, which is good news. We should, I believe, hit uh, level 30 while we are in this raid, which would be rad. Who's my, who's my co-healer in here? Is it the mage? 
There's no way. There's no way of knowing. There's a 38 Druid. So the BFD lockout resets every three days. Uh, which is why I'm able to do this so shortly after the last time I did it. I could have sworn it was less than that, but uh, I don't have any lockout information, so I'm assuming I'm good to go. Because didn't I do it on Thursday? Thursday, Friday. Maybe it was like resets at midnight or something? I don't know. I feel a bit lucky that I'm able to do it right now. And, you know, perfect world. Maybe we get that epic staff, which is, I would imagine, probably the best thing that you're going to get up until you do Gnome Ragon, Gnome Ragan. Still don't have any confirmation on what the right, right way to say it is. Doesn't matter. Gnome Sandwich. Gnome Town. All right, looks like our tank is the warrior, and then I'm assuming either the druid or mage. It seems like shaman just do not heal in uh, season of discovery. Not that they can't, but I, I have never seen one. Never seen a resto shaman. I think they're just way better at other stuff or something. I think we have some quests to turn in here. Go ahead and do that. Greeting, adventurer. Greetings. Welcome to the front lines in our conquest of Ashenvale. If you are looking for something to do, then you've come to the right place. Maybe I am. I'm always looking for able-bodied individuals to help Crafted bring boots glory from the to the Well done, adventurer. Well done. I will Crafted boots. To thin out the fur ball, but I can Not the uh, set boots. Will be free of alliance entanglements. The Horde Congress Let's just make sure that none of these uh, quests here. You earned your pay this day, no, hero. We're good. I salute you. I'm talking about these uh, invoker shoes. I don't know, but if it's anyway, if it's worth it for the XP alone, and it's more fun and interesting than just grinding quests or grinding Scarlet Monastery, I'm I'm in. I'm down. Let's, let's do it. We never did end up finding a main hand to go along with this offhand we got the last time we were in here. We'll use our little log out trick. To aid us. The, uh, the... Been an SM all day, VD? How's the, uh... How's the grind in there? How much, uh... How many levels have you made? Appreciate the comments on all the videos, by the way. Thank you for that. Is this a quest? Black Fathom Villainy? Well, we should pick that up. I feel like kind of a noob for not having done that already. A bit of a noob. But these guys are scary, man. Three mages makes it a lot better. Slow, huh? But it's supposed to be faster than uh, just the old. There we go. Oh, well, I'm just there to cast the healing spells. Okay, let's do the log out. The uh, random World of Warcraft fact of the day, number five, uh, took off pretty well this Saturday morning. 
Those are pretty fun to do. I'm actually learning a ton about like the history of WoW by making those. And they're like quick, they're fun. Seems like they've been generally pretty well received. It's free real estate. Really enjoying making those. I want that quest, man. Black Fathom Bill. I guess it doesn't really matter. But I do. I just like it's a quest, and I could do it. I want to do it. We haven't finished our sleeping bag yet. I haven't taken the time to go uh, go to Lock Madan, but I probably should. What would even be the best route? I guess. Like, where even is Lock Madan? No, it's right here. Okay. Like, that is such a trick. Like, what's the best way for a Horty to get the Lock Madan? I imagine that's gotta be just a. Like, is it just um, through Stranglethorn or is it south? It's probably south, right? South from Undercity? Yeah, you go through Arathi Highlands, through Wetlands, and still, that's a, it's a trek on foot, you guys. An absolute trek on foot. Three, three big ones. Peter, that's a third of my gold, man. <laughs> I'll run it out, dude. Time is money, friend. <laughs> I don't know. Three gold feels like a hefty, a hefty price. We should probably just do it though. The longer we put it off. Because we, so we have, I don't think I need to pay three gold. I've got the uh, tar and mill flight path, so we'd have to run through. Uh... We'd have to run through Arathi Highlands and Wetlands. That's not that bad. I ain't paying no three gold. Uh, who's the other? Oh, it is a, it is a resto shaman. Cool. I imagine I probably I don't know if I still want to use like prayer mending on cooldown like I would in. Uh... It feels like using everything on cooldown like you do in retail is not. I think in classic you might actually want to hold your cooldowns a little bit or hold your abilities a little bit just because mana is like such a at such a premium this is just gonna fall off anyway we're still waiting for three people to get here yeah, I think we can run it out Arathi Highlands isn't too dangerous if you stay on the path and uh, I need to make a mouse over macro for Palm. Let's do that super fast. Test it out. Mm, doesn't look like it works. I... Oh well. Oh, it's because I didn't actually put the macro on the bars, donkey. Donkey! There it goes. Rank one lesser heal. Okay. Make some checks out. Hmm. 
I'm playing Unholy DK. Oh, dude, Unholy DK is a super cool, uh... Like, spec. Yeah, it is, like, the neck. It's closer to a Necromancer than, like, you know, Warlock, really. Yeah, I I have like unlimited ammo when it comes to uh, random wow facts. I really do. Could do it forever. Who's hitting this poor man? Oh, these heals are so much more mana efficient than what I've been using. Oh, what was that? Oh, I got. Got sucked underneath. Yeah, the random wow facts really do. There's so much you could choose from. I mean, you could go with like in game stuff, you could do like, you know, real world connections. There's a lot of ways you could go with that. I can't get. Okay, he's a ghost. I don't know where this dude is. Yeah, I've already learned a lot. Like, it's not like I already knew all this stuff. I'm just, like, looking it up and... Uh-oh. Mrs. Donkey Storm says, don't be surprised if the power goes out. Alright. High winds. The high winds wait when Donkey's streaming. Everything cools down. Uh, we need to get some forts out, don't we? This is great. <laughs> Love it. Absolutely love it. So this guild that I joined is like basically like a meme, right? Uh, I think they're actually pretty decent. Um, I know they cleared... Oh no, our, our... Our raid leader is offline! Oh, there he's back. Whew! That was close. Better thing. I know it's very rainy, but I can't... It's too dark for me to see... Uh, much of anything else. Losing power is unacceptable. Alright, boys. Let's do this thing. There he is. Too bad I don't have life grip. I could just... Shoot him right up here. Let's -a go. Wah, 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 wah. Heal the tank. What do you do in classic WoW? Heal the tank in classic WoW. Oh, a tank fell in the water. Does it matter? No, it does not. Did it, chat? Oh, we're probably supposed to like. Older, oh, we're doing it this. 
this way, huh? Oh, that is, there is some, uh... Okay, nothing for us. Why don't we just do the other loot system? What's the purpose of this? Crab people, crab people, taste like crab, walk like people. Feels like this is such a uh, unnecessary. Way of handling loot where we're like, we're like manually rolling for everything. I don't know. Oh yeah, there we had a quest in here for like some crystals or something. I don't know where they are though. This feels good. We're, we're the big boy heel in this raid, finally. We've been playing second fiddle for the last, the first two times we ever did it. Perm ending is such a good spell. Priest really got some nice uh, runes. In the old SOD lands, the Sod lands. Gamura! So where are these little crystals? Because we do have a quest for that. I don't know if it really matters if we do it or not, but we... I just like to finish quests, you know? Go to Chinese food order. Uh, chicken chow mein. I like chow mein and fried rice. Kind of depends what mood I'm in. And then... Uh, General's chicken and broccoli beef. That's like... That's on, like, save in my phone for my uh, Chinese place we go to. So I don't have to, so I don't have to waste time typing it in, you know? Alright, here comes Mr. Turtle. I do kind of miss my little shadow boys, but this is, like, clearly better, right? time. Uh oh, one of our tanks is dead. We have lots of mana too. I feel like this, me and the shaman are healing the same people. Agreed. Hey, I got a belt. I got a belt. Look at me go with my pants not falling down. Soup preference? I don't usually get soup. I don't really know a whole lot about uh, Chinese food soup. Oh man, I even won the uh, greed roll, dude. 
I'm like, I'm on fire, you guys. I'm on fire. What level is this shaman? 31. Okay. I was getting a little annoyed that he out healed me on that fight. If I had circle of healing, I probably would have destroyed him. That was close, though. Nice belt. Eight. Damn, eight it. Heck yeah, dude. Our new area we moved to, we had a, uh, we we pretty quickly found a really good Chinese spot, which is really a nice thing to have. I can definitely see why people still run BFD post post twenty five. Kind of actually kind of cool that you do, and it's not just like immediately irrelevant. You know, like usually when a, when new content comes out. The previous raid is just done. Gone forever. Prayer of Mending is actually... How much mana does this cost? Feels like none. 85 mana. Yeah, not very much. I'm not gonna lie, I still haven't completely, like, I don't really even know what this boss does. I remember last time I got frozen, and I felt kind of dumb, but, uh, I got over it pretty quickly, too. Starting to get some of these mana efficiency talents that, uh... I think if you don't stand in the ice, uh, I think you're okay. Scarf, Agility, Spirit, that's agreed. Sword, that's agreed. Five, Spirit, four, Stamina, four, Stamina, five. Okay, whatever, that's agreed, too. Egg soup is a little... Huh, I'll have to give that a try. Give that a try. You you making an order right now, Vivi? Does sound pretty good. I didn't eat much for dinner. I had like a <laughs> we we had to go out to the store and we ended up getting like a jack-in-the-box feast of, like, uh, chicken tendies and tacos. And I didn't feel like eating anything else for, like, the rest of the day after that. That late, that late night snack has been my uh, New Year's resolution. 
That is... It was going well at first. I think I need to uh, improve it a little bit, but I'm a sucker for the late night snack, dude. Like, I'll eat perfectly all day, and then right before bed, I'm like, let's just ruin everything we did for the day. And I just start, like, munching on whatever I can find. Oh, I actually need those pants. I am wearing, like, gray pants. Yes. Alright, we need to put uh, prayer mending on our legs. Huge upgrade, chat. Huge. Huge! This exp... I don't know why I didn't really notice it the first time around, but the experience in here is really good. The noise! What's up, dude? How's it going? We're just raiding. Raid leveling. This is a pretty, pretty cool uh, way of leveling, I think. How's the Paladin going, dude? I wonder why they didn't let, I don't know. Wasn't there a, like a, uh, wasn't there like a wall that was closed up, whatever. Ah, satyrs, run. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep doing BFD like every time it, it's the lockouts. Uh, allows me to. Now I need some bracers, dude. Or a neck, or a hel helmet. Got a lot of a lot of potential for upgrades in here. I'm kind of wishing I had done more BFD in phase one, but uh, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Because I'm I'd be doing it now anyway, right? So. Feels bad though to have like no head, no neck, no trinkets, just none. Not even bad ones, just none. All right, let's see if I can not die. All done with Pally, huh? Last time, previously on X Men. Uh, I died on this fight, and I felt stupid. I, I think, I suspect, that you have an easier time dodging when you're in the middle. I wish I could zoom out a little bit. I'm not healing anybody right now. I'm just trying to not get hit by murlocs. Alright, we live. <laughs> We're already doing better than last time. Here come the Murgles! Gurgles of Murgles! Woo! Woo uh, I, I was too I was too big of a coward to let that uh channel finish. A lot of Murgles, dude.
The gurgles of Murgles. Ooh, we leveled up. Ooh, we need that. We need that robe, dude. That's a that's a set bonus, you guys. Oh my god, don't win that mage, you turd. I want it. Oh baby, I got it. Oh, we're cleaning up. You can look at that. That's like practically as cool as you are allowed to look at level 29. All right. Let's get a Void Plague on there. Did make a Druid. Is this Yasma? Yeah, it looks like... You're right, it did kind of look like Yasma, didn't it? All right, what a server are you on? On uh, SOD noise. Ooh, dude, you guys, we are, we are cleaning up tonight. Got that two-set bonus going on? <gasps> oh, yeah. This is, I think we're going to get the epic staff, you guys. Just wait for it. It's coming. Ally on Living Flame. I'm on uh, Wild Growth. Oh man, all you Alliance players. Don't know the power of the dark side. Not gonna lie, I was gonna play Alliance. <laughs> I do, I am like Horde for life, but I, I like to play Alliance on um, on Classic mainly because like it's just, it's like a different game, so I feel like free to play something different, but Ron Ron wanted to play, uh, play Horde. And I haven't seen him since. Ron Ron, where are you? Our only hope. Ah, oh, here's Lorgus. Dude, I'd, I'd turn into a, a bad guy too if my name was Lorgus. My parents named me Lorgus and just be like, that's it! I'm gonna do some crazy villainy right now. Watch out for the slow moving ball. Round and round and round it goes. Whoa, tank, where it stopped, that tank knows, because he did. B resum. Oh, wait, that's not a thing yet. Oh, here it comes, man. Look out. Never mind, it's gone. And it's gone. Uh oh. I fell into a burning ring of fire. Went down, down, down. The flames went high. And it burns, burns, burns. Greed. Guild wouldn't let you. Ah, oh, bummer, dude. Let's do some rebuffs on these folks. This seems like the most solid group we've been in. Grab us some manners. Manor bananas. These manners are not coming back quickly. And we'll all just hang out and wait for the Nova to run off. Okay.
Yeah, we're, we're blowing through. Oh, I think I have a talent point I can spend. Neat! Oh, uh, I still haven't been paying attention to... Uh, Whatever those crystals are. I might just abandon that quest if I'm ever going to do it. skill going up. Yep, this is definitely definitely worth it. We got... How many loots did we get in here? We got three pieces of loot. It's not even... Run's not even over yet. Leveled up. Got like a third of a level. Uh-oh. Don't let that guy heal his friends! That's a belt. I feel like I'm the I'm the charity case of this raid right now. These people don't seem to need this gear, and uh, I'll take it. This maid seems to need like a lot of the gear too. Sucks for him. <laughs> Cause I've been. He'll probably get the epic staff though. What a clown. find whatever my uh, penance macro is on retail and get it on my priest on here because it's a weird spell because it's like offensive and defensive and I'm having a having trouble getting the macro to work the way I want it to self found eh. I never even finished uh regular hardcore so I would and I mean that's essentially how I play anyway so not not particularly oh let's get over here with the range that's gonna be a problem if we don't stack on this uh, this fight you gonna die I do want to go finish my uh, Hardcore Paladin one of these days. It just SOD is so much more fun, man. SOD is like a uh, retail-infused classic. Still playing on that hotspot, huh? Bummer, dude. Well, I guess I'm just like fingers crossed right now that... Uh, that the internet holds up through the storm. I got a stack better than that. Oh, he went into the shadow, the nether realm. Can we dispel that? We can. We, we can and probably should. I don't, I hate the way that that happened. I think we're being a little too conservative with our mana, actually. We can 
let her rip a little bit more. Oh, it's getting yucky over there. Now we spread. Spread, spread, spread like butter on bread. Oh my god, this stuff is all so good for me. A wand and a neck, which I, I don't even have a neck. We got the... got the wand. And the neck. Uh, am I allowed to win this much loot in a raid? Because <laughs> I've gotten everything! Oh man, I feel a little bad, uh, but not that bad. I think I'm... Hey man, this is like one of your nights, you know? Uh, the raid leader was just whispered me like, dude, you're getting freaking geared. So uh, I guess that means that I'm okay. I'm definitely putting on this neck. Holy cow, you guys. Man, like, bissed out in one run. Whatever, dude. I'm equipping all of it. I mean, is, is it uh, phase one bis? Yeah, but hey, man, a bis is a bis. All this to lose on the uh, on the staff. I almost feel like if the staff drops, I shouldn't roll on it. Is that being too nice? I've gotten one, two, three, four. I'm not going to count the legs, because that was just like a BOE green. I don't think anybody even needed that. But I won one, two, three, four rolls that other people have needed. Am I being too nice? Or should I, if that staff drops, do I just roll on it? Because it's like once in a... I don't want to say once in a lifetime. That's a little dramatic, but uh, it's really good. Roll on that thing. I'm with you. Do it. Okay. The uh, main thing here is we don't want to be in front of him. It's a little bit tricky when he's flip flopping around like this, but you definitely have time to move. Oh, this wand! Listen, look at this wand. It's like a machine gun. Shaman is like ninjaing my heels. He's just slipping him in there a little bit faster.
tank's getting beat up pretty good. gonna die. We're, yeah, we're spamming him. Oh, breath. Let's not get breath. Hey, okay. No, uh, we could use the quest item. Uh, these, we don't need these. Dude, we got. Of course, we won the pole, the uh, pearl. <laughs> oh God, I am the least popular person in this raid, but. Trinket? An actual trink? <gasps> well, there is no staff, dude. There, the staff didn't drop. We gotta. I don't. That mage is probably like, screw these guys. They can walk out. What a raid is right, man. Woo. Damn. We got. Uh, one, two, three. Four, five, soon to be six items out of that raid that are all like we're gonna be absolutely obliterating stuff out in the out in the world. Hell yeah. My wind riders are trained to fly quickly through the hot bed. Uh, where do we turn this thing in at? Thunder Bluff. My wind riders are trained to fly quickly through the hot baron's air. Yeah. Drop the uh thanks thanks for the thanks for the loot, guys. <laughs> uh yeah, dude. Wow, what a what a run that was. I think like best of all, I mean we had gray pants. We're gonna have a trinket in which we had none. We have a neck where before we had none. We had the two set bonus, like and a super good wand, like. Mmm. Mmm. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Ne next uh, on the docket is going to be getting into some uh, graveyard, I think. At 31, I don't know. I think we could probably do library. I don't know. There's a difference between me thinking that I could do library and like getting in a group that thinks I could do library. I don't know, man. All this stuff, like to be perfectly honest, feels like extremely easy. I'd like to do like a graveyard or two just because I haven't done it at all yet. Looking for DPS. This guy's LFG. Pre seals LFG. Heals DPS LFG to two other priests looking for groups. That's great. Looking for tank. We'll keep an eye on this. Oh, maybe this guy. Uh... While we're doing a uh, graveyard. It's going to take us a bit to get there. Holy cow, you guys. Man, we are decked something special. Pick 
Clam Shaman, huh? Just gotta turn this quest in here real quick and then, uh... I feel like it's gonna take me from calendar year to get out there, but... Oh, we have two quests to turn in? This is the one we really care about. Man, I'm still st I'm still stoked from that. Every time I hit need, it was just like, you won! You won! You won! You won! We'll keep Palm on. We're gonna have to get Circle of Healing. I'm not sure... I don't know. I feel like Penance is gonna be better in most cases. I don't know. Maybe when we get to Nomer, like... Circle of Healing will have uh, more practical use, but uh, yeah. Wait a minute. Are you in here? Oh, you walked right by you, dude. I'm so sorry. How Bashana. All right, we want the not attack power, healing done by spells, or damage. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. Do we take the pure healing one, or do we take the damage and healing one? Eh. I mean, we're going to plan on doing mostly... It's hard. That's tough. I am planning on doing mostly instances, so I'm going to take the healing one. Twice as much. Oh, I just got everybody uh, the buff, too. Wow, I feel like such a cool guy right now. You're welcome, world! It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. I don't know if that's a, the correct soundbite for this moment, but... Uh, this buff was because of me. <gasps> okay. Dude, we are we are feeling ourselves tonight, chat. Feeling ourselves tonight. We have a trinket now? Gasp. When mounted on the back of a wind rider, one sees that its reputation for strength and Man. speed is well earned. Cooking now. Ten levels to go, and then we can... I really, really, really like how they decided to do this in phases, so you don't have to go all the way to 60 before you have fun. I mean, I can get to 40 and play for, like, a month or two before, uh before I have to worry about leveling again. That's so cool. So cool. So cool for us normies that uh, can't play all day, every day. I'm sure it triggers a lot of people that do play all day, every day, but... Dang. I'm jazzed, you guys. I haven't been this wow jazzed in a long time. Phoenix Ignition. This act it's a wand that actually has int on it. Oh, you dude, we're gonna be pumping heels in these Scarlet Monasteries. It's gonna be fabulous. I wonder what our group is uh, looking for. I don't know how much uh I hate that all my friends all got max level right away and I'm stuck leveling by myself. Be being a normie is hard, dude. It really is. I wasn't even sure I was gonna play phase two. I'm really glad I did. Um, but I was thinking about not just because like the gatekeeping was so bad in phase one. I think it might have just been uh, when I chose... Like, I started playing Phase 1 at the end, and people were just like, if you don't already have every single item you need for BFD, we don't want to see you in here. 
And I was kind of like, but I'm new. But it seems like, uh, we'll see how Nomer is. I mean, I know my, like, weird guild of people I don't even know already cleared Nomer. Like, they, I think they, like, one-shot the whole place, too. Surprise, surprise. SOD raid is easy. I like how short they are, too. I think that might actually be why, like, SOD feels like, uh, it's normie perfect. Normie perfect. We should probably, uh... I don't know if we got, like, any big spells to train at 30, but I, we maybe we should check, even though we're making this group wait for us forever. We don't even have a fifth guy yet. They don't even know that they just invited, like, Priest God Donkey Storm geared to the geared to the teeth now. Not really. <laughs> I still have like gray bracers from level 14 on. But uh Don't look at that, look at this. That bonus, a trinket, oh my god. A necklace? Who you be? Whoa! Power word shield, we'll take. Prayer of Healing. Uh, we'll take it. I don't know how much we're going to use it. And then... Uh, I feel like all of this stuff can... Go buy bracers. <laughs> I don't want to. These, these are my lucky bracers. I could probably, like... I have tailing. I could probably craft some if uh, I actually use some of my cloth. Oh, are these guys, like, waiting for me? They don't really seem like they're... Again, we haven't even... I guess I could splurge on some bracers. Eh. Do I splurge on some bracers? Whee! Ouch. Can't cast penance while moving? What is this game? I cast penance while moving for a living. The auction house used to look so sad, dude. Alright, armor, cloth, wrist. Whoa. Three big ones? Nah. Fire spells. These are level 40. I just want something like cheap that's better than gray. Oh, here we go. Conjurers. Fire spell damage. What's up with all this fire spell damage? Plus 18 healing spells. 8 gold! This guy's smoking crack if you. Yeah, this one's 8 intellect for 89 silver. 5 intellect, 5 spirit. I don't know what's better. I feel like we're gonna, we're gonna take the raw in. And then jokes on them. Because we actually have gold in the... Where is the mailbox? Who designed this place? Gotta run all the way down here. So we already had the gold in the mail. I feel like that was a pretty good buy. I don't know. All right, now we're now we're even more deck. We're so we have so much int. We're like geniuses. Oh, where am I? I keep forgetting like Orgrimmar is a different. And the Zeppelin is, like, outside. You know, say what you want about Garrosh. Uh, he really improved the design of Orgrimmar. Like, you know, 
a lot of people might say that they didn't like his attitude. They didn't think he was much of a speaker. They thought he was a genocidal maniac. But, uh, you know, you can't deny what he did for the infrastructure of Orgrimmar. He really did, uh, did right by the people. Like, why did they decide to put the Zeppelin out here? To what, what purpose? I wonder what we're looking for. I mean, usually one of the shaman are uh, a tank, more than likely. I can ask my giant guild if anybody wants to. That's 60 people online. We're good with four? Oh. Well, then I am sorry. I think this is the right one. Check. Hey there, cutie. Yeah. You looking for a ride to Gromgol? I hear Wait, no, 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 no. We're not going to Gromgol. Maybe I could join you for a short vacation. Show you a real jungle cat. Oh, we're going with four. Okay. I guess that's for more XP, huh? So I really should have been going a lot faster if I had known that this was all that we were trying to get. That must be a very... I bet you uh, classic players are probably like, this is a very, a very retail player thing to do, is wait for the group to fill before you go to the place, right? <laughs> Cause the travel is so far, it's like, bro, you gotta, you gotta get moving here. Of course, there's no danger in everything catching flames and exploding like a huge helium bomb. This baby will get you to Undercity faster and safer than any boat, and the view is truly breathtaking. Speaking of breath, smoking is not allowed while on board the Zeppelin, and fire spells are banned from being cast during the trip. That one has come twice in the time that this one has come nuns. This has come nuns times. Dude, I feel like our little priest is, uh... Oh, they're summoning me? Oh. Wow. Okay, where are my boys at here? Right over here. Okay. We're going in. We're going in. Here we go. Huge OP-ness. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. I wonder if I even need prayer mending. I wonder if I could get by with homunculi in here. Let's get her done, they say. Look at that. Like, I feel like if I had gotten this robe in retail, I would have been like, this is the ugliest looking robe I've ever seen. But just the fact that I acquired it in classic, I'm like, I want to I want to wrap myself in this robe and sleep in it. One slaps, you guys. I, I need to make some changes to my uh, like I 
Like, I don't need to see everybody's name, you know? I don't think I have that on in retail. Tell me. Tell me everything. Interrogator Mishus. Why does this guy want my secrets so bad? No secrets for you, sir! Spirit, uh, I'll actually take that. Hey man, it's better than what I got. I forgot you can just endlessly dispel. Well, not endlessly run out of mana, but... The dot, they don't seem to ever stop with that, so... Maybe we don't dispel that. These are both bad drinks. I feel like we can sit here and drink as long as we want. I think we need a better, uh, some better water. So I figure these room, these groups typically go more than once, right? Not kind of that kind of the idea here. So I'm not gonna really spend any mana on anything other than healing. Just wand these things down. Huh? I don't know if we're gonna. We're not even gonna stream that long, but. I haven't done graveyard in so long, I don't even really remember what is in here. Your butt snub. Is, do you feel like you're going faster than you would if you were questing? I guess that's the main thing I'm interested in. I guess I gotta like feel it, because I'm not feeling it yet, but uh, we haven't even done like a... Well, I don't even know what a run entails right now, like are we going in these crypt? I guess we'll find out. Are you running with five or four in your group? Uh, 
five. We're gonna have to do a, uh, a calculated run here. See how much of a level we get per uh, per run. This is my life now, huh? So is the thought process behind doing it with four that we uh, the XP isn't like split as many ways or Which I guess would kind of make sense. Oh my goodness. Don't forget to thumbs up the stream guys. It's always uh the, the coolest thing you could ever do. MP, what's going on? Oh, dude, you missed it. We had, like, the raid to end all raids. Our priest got decked in one run. We got, like, five items. Not, not even, like, exaggerating. We got five items. We're, we're pumpers now. Hold that, I guess it doesn't really matter. CK, what's going on, dude? CK, you're looking at like the most geared priests on the server. <laughs> Not really, but I did get uh, necklace robes for. Uh, Two set, a wand, a trinket, a belt, some pants. Things are looking up. I wonder if there's any quests in here. 23 thrown at the worst players in hit. Yeah, I mean, that's what's kind of made me not want to do keys right now, is just the quality of player right at the moment is uh, pretty rough. Flame shock is brutal on Tyrannical. You really have to like have a plan for when you get, you know, an overlap in your dispel, like how you're gonna how you're gonna handle that. If you just try and free ball it, I think it can get rough in a hurry. In a perfect world, you could tell your group, like, hey, use a defensive, I'm not gonna dispel you this time, right? Um, I don't live in a perfect world at all, though. Very sad. Oh, sh is that a helmet? Yes, I need a helmet. I don't even have one. Ah, uh, whoa! I look weird. All right. At least it matches my shoulders. Or even more decked, you guys. More, more souls. Your soul is mine. I don't want to say, I always say, ooh, I don't really need an offhand. 
I always say, dude, my luck is insane tonight. I should go buy a lottery ticket. You should never die. Anyway, I was saying, you should. I always say you should never die with a healing potion on off cooldown, right? You can put that on my tombstone. Donkey died with his healing pot on CD. Unless you got like one shot by something, which you shouldn't be getting one shot by something either, right? So like... <laughs> Look at me, look at me, look at me. Best priest on the server, dude. Just need 16 points for 3k and then I'm out for the season. I feel like as a disc priest, uh, saving pain up for yourself is almost like a given. Like, I think you should pretty much always be saving pain set for yourself. That's just like a a personal defensive that Holy Priest doesn't doesn't have access to. I'm sure you could make one really easily. There might even already exist something like that. So and so died with their healing potion off cooldown, and then I could say something like this. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. I didn't even pay attention to that. We. Came in at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost eight bars. Dude, go, can you look up if they have that? Because that's actually, I, I love that idea, CK. It's definitely like the most boring wing of Scar the Monastery. This guy, is, this guy just wants our secrets, if you know what I mean. Naughty secrets, he says. These were the hardest pulls in the dungeon. And they use hard very loosely here. Didn't get the chest. You know what? I'll take that L.
definitely not going to make a lot of friends with a weak aura like that, but you might uh, validate your, your healing self a little bit. I mean, what would you rather have, friends or self-validation? I'll take self-validation eight days of the week. I almost wonder if details can do something like that, since details can tell you like what you were killed by and stuff. like priest actually feels like a healing spec healing mage didn't feel like a healing spec even though I know it had like some upside because of the damage it does but uh I'm much happier with priest Especially now, dude. Now that my now that my priest is uh, is a god. Yeah, mage can definitely do some AOE. Yeah, healing mage just doesn't really have a lot of like depth to it. I don't know how it works out in phase two. But it's just kind of bland. Like, you cast, like, two spells. I guess that's pretty par for the course in Classic. I thought it would be a little more fun. Not that I'm casting a ton of spells as Priest, to be honest. But, uh... I feel like we could probably speed up the pulls a little bit if they wanted to. Yeah, I know my uh, guild leader is kind of depressed about the legendary because we just called we just called it for raiding for the uh, for the season, and he he never got it. I can see that being pretty frustrating. I feel like a... They could design legendaries in a better way than like... Just super low drop chance. Like instead, make it like a challenging quest, you know? Or it can be challenging at first, but a quest that like, well... Ooh. BOE sword. Morbid done. Didn't get that one, guys. I think the luck's running dry. Um, you know, a quest that like people will have a hard time with at the beginning of the season, but at the end of the season, they should mostly like have it. I feel like that's better than just like this thing just doesn't drop. That's not fun. I do, I love the Mage Tower. I wish they would do, like, more Mage Tower stuff, but don't make it, um, Torghast. Because <laughs> I think that's kind of where Torghast came from, right? Talk about missing the point.
I hated doing Torghast, man. I'm sure I'm not alone. Did I get the book mount? No, I never... I never gave it enough effort. Because I, I think I probably only have like two scenarios I would need to do to get it. I had most of them. I don't know. I think uh, one thing that Dragonflight has gotten right is that there really are no chores. Like you, you log in and you do what you want. Remember Shadowlands? You had to uh, every reset. You had to do like the two maw quests, the same ones. And it was like, why do I have to do this every week? Poor gas on every, yeah. Like you had to grind out a whole bunch of stuff just to like, be able to go do keys. I don't, I didn't like any of that stuff. I like having like a campaign to do at the beginning of a new patch. I mean, Dragonflight always had that. But I don't need like, I don't need the thing to go on and on and on forever. Like you just have to repeat this super boring thing. We're back. More, more souls. I played a lot of Shadowlands, though. No rest for the dead. It really did. Oh my God! He just AOE'd us. I don't see that every day. Scroll of Fortitude teaches you increased fortitude. Uh, okay. Int Spirit. Oh, I uh, I kind of need both those guys. Dang. What? I didn't know about this. Increased fortitude. Wow. Increases the mana cost. Oh, decreases. What? Cool. Oh, it's passive. Even better. Alright, I'm going to do a quick bio before I do this again. But we will continue to do it because I can see that it's fast. Oh, that's it. They're already calling it. All right. Well, we're going to bio then and uh, find a different group to join, I guess. We even have increased fort now. 45 minutes. 10 stamina. Less, almost no mana. That's pretty sweet. Hopefully we'll be safe out here. It's not a PvP server. Yeah, looks like we're safe. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna do a quick potty break. I'll be right back.
Okie dokie. Kind of a bummer we have to find a new group already, but... Uh, let's see... Appeals, GUI... Need heals. They're full. Let's see here. It's one thing about this is oh, this guy's look. He is heals. Ella heals. Dang. The one kind of uh, tricky thing about this is how it keeps like updating so fast. Okay, Ella tank, tank, DPS. Rogue, LF tank, heals, LF. And for DPS, LF heals. This guy's already. Oh. One more library, DPS. We could do library or graveyard, I think, and be fine. <laughs> Boom. We're in. Oh, we just phased. Wow. Korthi was unforgivable as a zone. Couldn't enable flying because it was so tiny. Uh, Korthi was pretty lame. Yeah. 100% agree with you there. Korthi, no fun. And you, like, had to do it. Like, you had to do it. It was player power re related. I can't remember why exactly, to be honest with you, but I know you had to do it. There was some some incentive to do it that was player power related. Because if I know that, because if it hadn't been, I wouldn't have done it. So <laughs> that's how I know. All right, I am here. Can we use this portal? No. Well, at least we got... It looks like you're going to need, like... That's right. Looks like you're going to need maybe... Five or six of these runs. A level up. I think we're going to grind it for just about an hour, and then we're going to finish our sleeping bag. I, we probably should have done that first. <laughs> That's pretty backwards, but... Uh, That's where we're at. Get some forts on these boys. I need to get closer. Where is he? There you go, dude. We're forted up.
Looks like uh, AoE Mage is pretty popular right now for this kind of stuff, which makes uh, all the sense in the world. Tell me, tell me everything. This guy's so creepy. I don't like. <laughs> I don't like uh, interrogator Vicious. Vicious. Whatever his name is. It's kind of kind of a creep. Tell me. Tell me your secrets. Settle down, dude. Secrets. Mm, secrets. Uh-oh, this group actually takes damage from stuff. Ooh, fancy. Line of sight, are we? Wow, very nice. I have to drink in this group. This part not too good at, the tank says. Well, you're gonna get plenty of practice, dude. Healing effects reduced. That's what I thought because uh, my heals weren't doing anything to this guy. Oh, we're pulling. We're pulling like everything. That, I mean, that makes sense. You're gonna dungeon grind. You may as well clear, right? Doesn't work. Oh, give me them BOEs, dude. Ah, oh, need roll. What a loser. As if a, if a blue staff dropped. I wouldn't be drooling over it.
this group is at least a little, like a little bit more interesting, I guess, than the previous group. Like I actually kind of like that we're pulling everything. No, again, feel like we could go a little faster, but you know, retail Mythic Plus player versus level 30 something classic WoW player. Gonna happen. Uh, I hate when he gets this healing debuff. You're kinda on your own when you get that. See how four hours of this would get a little tedious. Okay, I think we should actually drink now. Excuse me. I think they need to bring back wand gameplay in retail. Wands are pretty sweet, dude. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good wand? That's not a euphemism or anything. I'm just, I'm 100% serious. That debuff. Waste of mana, basically. Drop this one in right after it comes off. Nice! Should have bought some better drinks before we came out here, but it is what it is, y'all. Just sip until someone's about to die here. Imagine, like, you're fighting a bunch of ghosts, and the guy that's supposed to be keeping you alive is just like... Good stuff. Good year. And then he's pew pewing with his wand. Healing is definitely like the most ridiculous of the roles in uh, Classic. Oh no! I've got the healing debuff. But I'm the healer! Oh no, he's got it. No heals for people with the healing debuff. You can just have to find a way to live.
I like my new little hat. I kind of want a real hat like that. What would you call that? It's like a magician's hat. Why are we, what are we waiting for here? Get in there and tank some ish, buddy. I feel like we weren't getting this debuff in the other group, you know? Yeah, he, might, he might die. I might have to heal him. Right? I don't remember getting... Well, maybe those guys are actually dispelling it? I don't know. This isn't uh, retail. You don't have to talent into your dispels, people. Sir. Somebody just leveled up. Yeah, why did why did we not have to deal with this at all in the previous group? No. Intense, guys. Intense. Or maybe people were interrupting it. I mean, if they don't stop the buff, it does not. Clearly, not the end of the world, but sure would make uh, everything easier. Golson. Thank you so much for the sub, friend. Glad you're enjoying the stream. <gasps> A chest! Are we going to roll for this bad boy or what? I am. Five. Alright, you can have it. I think like two more? get us, uh, push us over the top. One more level. Five levels a day keeps the FOMO away. Says someone. Five levels a day is a lot. Well, Depends what stage of it you're at. I feel like when you're in the 30s, 5 is a lot. I have bad news. I think I'm getting sick, you guys. You know that free sick feeling? I'm feeling a little bit free sick right now. And it's not cool. Not cool, man. Are we in? Are 
We good? Can't tell if we're in or we're good. Hello, I'll get out so I can reset. Well, I thought you already reset, brother. What are we doing out here? Oh, man. Free sickness. Free sickness is real. There's a fellow undead. Group is trolling undead. So much less racial variety. I guess the word is diversity. Are we reset, buddy? Are we? Do we got this? Are we good? I love the undead sleep animation. Never gets old even after 20 years. It's just fun. What do I have to complain about? I'm freaking decked now, man. We got our boon. We got our sleeping bag. We'll, we'll also continue to do BFD. Although now there's like hardly anything in there left for us to get. <laughs> now that we're the most decked healer on the server, you know? I do like Scarlet Monastery, so that'll make this a little bit less painful. Spamming SM isn't like the worst thing you could could do. Like this group, I'm just reading their chat, is like a bunch of dads that are like, my guildies are uh, already 40, but I'm a father of two. I'm like, yeah, I, I feel you, dude. I feel you. The leveling really doesn't take that long. <laughs> oh god, the pre-sickness, you guys. I can feel it. The, the pre-sickness is on the cusp, turning into real sickness. Oh lord. No, don't do this to me. <laughs> Alright, boys, let's do this thing. Are we grinding XP or what? At least there's like different sections that you do. Like I think we're, we're actually probably almost done with this one and ready to do the next uh, area. Just as you guys know, I have a hard time sticking with one thing for too long.
XP is pretty darn good, though. That, that's definitely... Uh, definitely true. Are we not pulling the boss? Or... Whatever. Can do it in, in any order, I guess. Versus heal is how much? 255, okay, so. Penance is like infinitely more efficient. Tell me, tell me everything. Oh god, it's creepy. Creepy weirdo. I'm too pre-sick to even do my golem voice. Yikes. It's like I won. Where is it? What's in the box? Oh, I mean, what am I? What am I saying? Uh, what's in the box? What's in the fucking box? A green shield and a bunch of garbage. Lovely. You're glad I wasted a, a high roll for that. Let's go. Just keep swimming, boys. Swimming through the SM trash. Oh no. The super lame healing debuff activated. Zombies. I don't know like what level shaman can kick step at, but I feel like it's pretty low level. That'd be really helpful if this guy kicked this debuff. Not that it again, not that it really matters that much, it's just kind of annoying. I think it'd be cool if they gave Shaman a tank uh, spec on live. But Adam, dude, you just read my mind. How are you, buddy? 
You know? I just feel like Shaman would be a prime candidate. Holy keys! You doing any uh, Diablo this season, dude? I know you were at first. I feel like I haven't seen you on there in quite a while. Waiting for the uh, gauntlet like the rest of us. And then they'll be like, don't heal me, bro. Yeah, I would say this season was not quite as good as last. I don't hate it with, like, the passion of a burning sun, like uh, a lot of people seem to. But, uh... They still got work to do on that game. BB, thank you very much. And BB is right. Don't forget to thumb up the stream. What what are you doing? Why do you What is your personal vendetta against me that you haven't just clicked the thumb up? Iron spine? Is that a rare? It is. Ooh. A rare bee. What do you have for us, iron spine? Let's loot us. Ooh, a ring. Strength, agility, womp womp. They really didn't, like... Um... Like, one thing that I remember from, like, Diablo 3 is that there would be, like, completely different builds every season. It didn't really seem like that was... Like... a thing, you know? Like, some builds got, like, a new spin on them, I guess? But, yeah, it wasn't like, oh man, this season, like, you know, such and such is just, like, so good felt like, yeah, the same kind of thing basically all over again, like, uh, Hoda Barb was still super good, like, Bone Spear Necro, like, that's getting old, right? I'll st I'm still planning to go back when, uh, when the Gauntlet gets released, that could potentially be fun. And my Barb is pretty... Pretty decked at this point. So he should be able to jump right in there. Oh, we got aggro problems. Problems with the aggro here. Bounce that palm around. Okay, this guy's office. Yeah. I think one more run after this should get us where we want to be. I 
guess this I guess this is fast. It doesn't feel super fast, but maybe that's just because of how like repetitive it is. Oh man. Free sickness, it's, it's attacking me guys. Attacking me. It's not being kind about it. Healing between debuffs. It's like Mother Nature intended. Let's -a go. I think what makes this buff such a bummer for me is that I already have so little to do. The one thing that I can do, like, I can't really do because of this debuff. It's annoying me. I didn't come in here just to wand all night. Although that is what I'm doing. There's my favorite debuff again. Iron lockbox, oh boy. This guy's guild name is Settle Down. It's kind of funny. Uh oh, Warlock thing. Got you, boys. I got you. thing oh he's he's got to get full mana of course of course anything less would be uncivilized he knows we're here guys he's already talking about us God, we did it. And now, we do it again. I don't know if one more is going to get it. I feel like it's not. I think we need like 1.2 runs to go. It 
This guy's saying he got two bars. What level is he? 30? We definitely got more than two bars. Interesting. Maybe this guy can't count. I don't even know. Like five? And there's probably people out there laughing like you only did it five times. I guess we could have at least checked to see if there's any quests in this place. My little mage is or not mage, priest getting all all grown up. Priest is getting all growed up. Here we go. Alright, four bar four bars and a little tad bit more to go. This will be a good test of how much this actually gives us right now. make two hand shaman tanks for life. Two burbs with one stone. I do like burbs. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like it's very high on their list of uh, things to do, unfortunately. Dude, two hand shaman. Um, two hand and hand shaman back in uh, classic PvP. Used to be able to absolutely smoke people with that. Oh, we're getting a little brazen now, are we? Hank's getting getting a whooping. Secrets. is wondering if it's faster to do just this section and not even do the ghosts. Miss out on the rare spawn, someone says. I don't know. That's a that was a bar almost a bar right there. I don't know man. It's all the same to me. Either way, we're stuck here forever. Oh, he pulled like everything. I actually, I, I support that decision. That was a good one. Been doing it in a bunch of little parts. Tanking in classic does not look like fun. Like, I don't think you have that thing that you have in 
retail. Uh, where you're just like, your abilities just do tons of aggro compared to everyone else. I don't think that you have that uh, luxury in classic. I think we're going to need this run plus, uh, ooh. neat, neat for someone. We're going to need this run plus a little more. Might even be like two full runs. I don't know. That seems like not much though. I'm surprised nobody needed these leather shoulders. Yeah, your bet's basically it, Adam. Does not sound like fun. Divine Spirit really soon. I might even consider respecking and dropping these two points. They don't really seem like they matter when solo questing, and they definitely don't matter uh, in group. Be nice because I think we can fill out the whole tree this season phase whatever you want to call it be uh, this pheasant pheasant too Ooh, a greater healing potion very nice oh guys I'm gonna get sick I don't want to but it's ha it's happening before my eyes I can feel my body failing. Another rare up, they say. That's what happens when you blow your nose that hard mid pole. Oh god. Oh no! Oof. Oh, he life tapped himself to death. That's what he said, anyway. Poor guy. Life tap yourself to death, you're gonna have a bad time. I 
can tell our tank is getting like uh, quite a bit more brazen here. Probably a good thing. Perhaps. All right, let's do this thing, buddies. Where is this rare? Way over there? Oh, there he is. Haunting Phantasm. I think that's him. No, it's this guy, Ashir the Sleepless. I know how you feel, dude. Ooh, a wand. Is that better than the one I got? Uh... I gave it to him. I think, uh, so that one had a little more DPS, but it didn't have any intellect on it. Oh god, please don't die. I don't think anybody else in the group realizes uh, that this healing debuff is a thing. Gotta level up from somebody. Birch the uh, tank. There, we need to do one more run. say almost certainly we need to do one more run. I don't know if these guys are actually doing another run now. Which is kind of the bummer. I know somebody said this is their last one and a lot of times that's the end of all things when one person leaves. Don't leave! There's like all the mobs. Might as well get this guy popped up before yet. This guy said he only got two bars from the last uh, run. There's no way. Unless I have like some XP buff that he doesn't. Which I don't. Uh oh. Oh god. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm just getting us through this faster. I actually think that was totally, totally reasonable pull. Those are probably going to come anyway. Thank you. 
Alrighty. I love the, uh, the, the balls on her tank has, like, gotten so much bigger since we started. drop the same loot. He only has one item on his loot table. Alright, we need one more of these and I feel like our group's gonna fall apart. What's going on here? Still killing stuff. But I'm so close. Do I have any like quests to turn in or anything? Maybe we'll do like one run of the next place or something. I don't like to join and just do one run though, because I feel like that's kind of lame. When you join, people expect you to be in it for the long haul. Well, that might just be where we end up stopping. It's not the end of the world. I think we're gonna... Alright, I have a plan. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. We're going to attempt to get our sleeping bag real quick. Oof. All right, we made it out of SM. Go get us a bag. Maybe our bag will uh, level us up. That seems like it would be way too much, but. Do you have anything to turn in in Undercity or anything? We have something to turn in in Thunder Bluff. We'll figure it out. Anywho, any hoosers. We need that. We need to fly to a Tarin Mill. And then we run. Then we make the journey. Then we make the endless journey. Lock Madon. Lock Madon. All right, so the Scarlet Monastery grind is real. It's gonna be a lot of seeing a lot of that place for a while, I guess. I'm not sure what free raid bis entails. I imagine a lot of it's from in there anyway, so... Yeah. We'll see. I feel like we made huge strides. Uh, music turned off. I feel like we made huge strides in the gearing uh, front tonight. Although I'm sure a lot of the stuff isn't going to be this going into the next raid. It's a heck of a lot better than what we had. Alright, so we're going to be flying to Taran Mill and then running through Arathi through the wetlands and then it's right there. 
it's a it's a path wrought with danger for a frail little horde undead skeleton man like me, but uh, we can do it. This wand is definitely like a light source. Look at that thing. I won't be scared in the dark at all. The ruins of Lordaeron. Everybody was so sad when that night elf tree got burned down, but like, where's the love for the Undercity, dude? Although, the Undercity is like restored, isn't it? Didn't we do a quest like for the Undead Heritage Armor, I think, where you restore the Undercity? Like, you go clean up all the doo doo that uh, Sylvanas unleashed everywhere? I'm pretty sure. I wonder if they regret that whole thing. That tree thing really pissed a lot of people off, man. I didn't really care that much at the time. Um, but I know a lot of people were pretty upset. And at the time I was like, man, who cares? We're all going to forget about this. Well, people did not forget. And I think a lot of people were, were kind of PO'd that, like, they never felt like they got uh, their vengeance. Or, like, the vengeance that they received was not uh, not enough for them. I think a lot of it had to do with, like, Sylvanas not being, like, killed. Now, I'm not going to lie. I don't really care about that very much at all. And as a generally a horde player, I don't really care about that tree place very much either. Um, but there are a lot of people who were pretty, uh, pretty unhappy about how that was that went down. Embrace the shadow. How may I be of service? Trust no one. All right, well, it's time to make the dangerous journey. It's really not that dangerous because what well, wetlands is like level in the twenties, right? Wetlands doesn't tell you on here, but uh, I'm pretty sure wetlands is lower than us. Arathi Highlands, like. It's like a little bit higher than us, but it's not like we're going to get one shot by something running through there. And we're not on a PvP server, so should be easy enough to finally get this thing and just always have the 3% buff. Sounds good to me. There's the old Dalaran bubble. At this point, Dalaran was still just a big hole in the ground for all we knew. Or I, I don't think we knew what was in there at the time. Like, all that we had known was that like Dalaran got really messed up when uh, in Warcraft 3, right? And then they put this bubble over it in Classic WoW. We were sort of left to... Uh, guess what happened to it, if I remember correctly. Bronze Dagger.
All right, we definitely have a quest to turn in here. I just don't like to end like this close to the level, you know? Feels like we left so much on the table that way. This guy just leveled up. He's just leveling the same level I am. Mission accomplished, okay, that got us really close. We might even level up just from like all the stuff we're gonna discover as we go. All right, here it goes, dude. We must, however, persist in you know what's unfortunate is, like, right now we have 20% movement speed, but we're going to lose that in 13 minutes. The humans rally around their leadership and keep fighting. We must eliminate their leader, Magistrate Burnside, as well as the town council. And when that happens, it's going to be a bummer. Political document as well, the Hillsbrad Proclamation. And while you're at it, steal the town registry. Jeez, are we going to steal their registry? While you're at it. Stuff's super low level. Oh, well, it's gray to me. But a lot of... Even grays I notice in Classic, they like to still run after you. I apologize for all the sniffles, guys. I wasn't like this. Literally, when I started the stream, I wasn't like this. It's come on fast. Not ideal. My turtle is totally gonna lay more eggs. He's acting like a weirdo like she did the last time she w laid eggs. But every time I put her in her egg laying box, she's like, nope, not today, sir. Last night she escaped from the egg laying box. Unbelievable. How dare you. I walked in here to the egg laying box. Uh, the top was off and she was gone. But she was just hanging out under, uh, under the desk. I closed the door just in case, because I know she has a tendency to do that. I don't want her like out walking around biting my toes while I'm sleeping or something. This seems like something she might do. Thorn's wall. This wall is like pretty sick, man. I remember uh, the first time I saw it like playing classic. I was like, wow, look at that. Look at that thing. That's a big wall. Impressive. It looks like that gate's totally stuck though. Do we want to bother with flight paths? I don't know if we do. It might be worth it to get them now. The question though, if we're going to dungeon grind our levels out, do we need them? These things might aggro me. Nope. I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see how... I don't think it's that far off the path. Might be nice to have the... the flight path. Yeah, keep walking, buddy. Oh. Yeah. Here comes the guards. They don't see little old me slipping by. This part down here always reminds me of uh, South Park. I'm pretty sure that's where they filmed or whatever you want to call what they did. Uh, the South Park episode or parts of it. And we're down there. When they tried to like raid that guy and he killed all of them. I think that happened like right down here somewhere. And he's always, like, jumping around.
That was such a great one of the best like episodes of a TV show <laughs> ever. There's the Alliance place. Oh, it's way up there. I don't know, man. I guess we'll grab it. This is the only one we need to get. We don't Horde doesn't have one in Wetlands or Loch Madon, and we will have to come back this way eventually, I guess. At some point. Might not be this phase, but we will eventually. Oh, we're gonna run out of our boon though. That's the real tragedy here. The loss of boon. The loss of boon. Hammerfall, where are you? There you are. No, that's not actually it. That's like the farm for the Alliance quests. Holy moly, it's way back here. It's like the shittiest looking farm I've ever seen. Well, I guess these aren't exactly farmers. These are like marauding orcs. But this farm was clearly not in great shape before, let's be real. What is this crop right here? It's like just a bunch of grass or weeds or something. Holy moly, you guys, it's so far. It also doesn't help, but I don't think we took the fastest path. Oh well. We've, we've gone this far. And we're saving ourselves three gold. Don't forget that. Never forget the three gold we saved by spending 25 minutes running to Loch Madon. If It might even end up being more than that. We'll see. Especially since we decided we needed to take this little detour. I think we're going to swap to Homunculi in case we have to actually fight something. Because I'm realizing if I kill like two things, I'll probably level up. There it is. Hammerfall. Original home of Rathi Basin. Or, uh, no. Alterac Valley? No, I was right the first time. Arathi Basin. I haven't done an Arathi Basin in... I haven't done a battleground in actual years. Kind of sad. I used to sort of like PvP. I don't know, man. I haven't found it to be fun in a really long time. Alright, there we got that flight path, everybody. Now, away we go. Into the wild blue yonder. We are going to level up just from discovering places. Five minute, four minutes on our boon. Are we gonna be able to afford a mount at forty? It's certainly not looking that way. I don't know where this gold's gonna come from. We need to get our hands on some of those BOEs or something. Right now, this 12 gold says probably not. How much is the mount? Is it 100 gold? Obviously, it's a like necessary purchase, but... 
Holy moly, that's a lot of that's a lot of cheese, man. A lot of cheese. A lot of cheese. Oh, we're running into a wall because I was looking at something real quick. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's better be worth it. What's more exciting, running to Lock Medan or grinding endlessly on uh, Scarlet Monastery or dying with like really bad players at the end of a Mythic Plus season? I don't know if they're, what the answer is to that question. All options are, are not my favorite. Oh my god, he's level 36. He's also giant. Okay, he actually is kind of kicking my ass. What if my little boys can help me? He, he, he had run as far as he was willing to run. Okay, Hammerfall Stormguard. No, leave me alone, spider. Where the hell is the path out of here? I think it's this one. I know it's in this general area, but I'm actually kind of getting myself in some, uh... Like, I know it's this bridge right here. That's how you get out. I don't know how I managed to lose the path. There it is. Found it. Path achieved. No, 30, 30, level 36 mobs are a little rich for my blood right now. Dude, I remember when I was doing that, uh... Was it a paladin quest? Or some kind of quest on Hardcore WoW on this bridge? You guys might remember this. And uh, I was, like, too scared. I Part of it, you had to, like, jump off. And I was, like, so scared of jumping off this bridge. Thought I was gonna die. It's like, oh yeah, just jump from this platform to another. I was like, uh, are you kidding me? This is hardcore, man. Wow. Uh, Arathi Highlands took one forever to run through. Uh, to be fair, we did take a little detour, but... I think one day we'll thank ourselves for doing that. My, my little shadow boys all just died. They expired. Woo! Level up! Our instant cast spells now cost 10% less mana. Real exciting talents, Classic WoW. Bridge does not look safe. This guy, look at this guy on his mount up here. Haunting me. Almost, guys. Just gonna do that little quick little run there, and then uh, next thing you know, we'll have our fancy new sleeping bag. Good to go. Mm-hmm. Aw, oh, yes. There's no flight path for us here. And that's fine. 
no reason to ever come here. Once we get through, we gotta get to uh, like the waterfall area. We'll figure it out. But right now, we just need to be glad that uh, we're on a PVE server because I bet this run would be. Uh... Dude, getting this item on a PvP server would be really hard. You almost need like a, a full group or something for the kind of resistance you're probably gonna run into. Who's in here? Kixel. Got anything cool, Kixel? I got you got you two need. healing potions? That's awesome. Thank you. For real. Take healing potions any day. Healing potions equal living. Almost there, folks. I'm gonna have to look up how you get the Circle of Healing rune. Circle of Healing rune. Mm -mm -mm. They really like to uh, make the priest runes for some reason require other players. Like, you gotta do this with another healer, or do that with another healer. Like, the homunculi one, you had to, like, kneel and pray to each other while you had a specific buff. And I got really lucky that there was, like, exact a guy that was exactly what I needed was, like, spamming general chat and tears full glades. He's like, I need an undead priest. I was like, oh my god! It's everything I asked for, because that was, like, would have been a pain to get. Because you need to find a role priest that is under the effects of this, like, meditation buff. Which you have to get from, like, kneeling in a graveyard. Like, it, it's very specific. And I could see how, like, later in the season it might be a real pain in the butt to get. All right, here we go. There's the tunnel. That's the top of the waterfall is where we really need to go, but there's no way up there. Level 31. Oh, my, my guild rank has changed. I used to be like probably high AF. Now my rank is Weed Warrior. Well, What other lovely ranks does this guild have? We have... I hate private. Ganja, Ge Ganja General. Weed Warrior. Maybe we should do these in order. Pipe, Pipe Private is the lowest rank. Blaze Boss is the, uh, the guild leader. Obviously. Ganja General, I guess, are the level... There's a lot of them. I don't know how he decided these ranks. Oh, what's this? Indica Indica Infantry. And then we got Weed War Stoner Sentinel. I got Weed Warriors. Which looks to be like most of the guild. And then Pipe Private. Wow. This guild is incredible. It 
it's still going strong at like 50 plus people online all the time with lots of max level players. Not so many right now, but... Uh, oh wait, no, there are. Yeah, there's like a ton of level 40 players on right now. And I think this was just one of those guilds that like pops up out of nowhere, you know? Interesting. Like, I feel like 9 out of 10 times guilds like that just like either die completely or like that it's just like you know a few people leveling this guild is like chatting doing stuff pretty impressed i'm not huge on the weed theme personally i don't have anything against weed i just like oh i might have to watch out for this guy uh, because he'll flag us PvP, and that's not really what we want. Mind suit his ass. Because if we flag ourselves PvP, we're in for all kinds of bad times. Sixty percent of the time, it works every time. Might be one of those guys on the top here. I think there might be a couple guards up here, and I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do anything about. Because I believe if they even hit us... Maybe not? Yeah, there is. Okay. Alright, we're still uh, sneaky sneaky so far. Ooh, you guys, we are playing with fire here. Somehow got it to work. As I'm telling you, Mind Soothe is a hell of a spell. Once we get PvP flagged, We're in a world of hurt. There's another one. Oh, there's one on each side here. It's gonna be tricky. I think we mine sees them both, and we just go like right down the center. I can't cast okay. that yet. Oh, chat, we did it. We did it. We ninja our way through. Mind soothe, dude. It's what's for dinner. Probably looking at some, uh... Probably looking at possibly some more on this bridge, so... I'll have to continue to be mind soothe ninjas. Why? This seems so unfair. Like, why does... Ford is really getting the shaft on this quest, right? Like... this If you're an Alliance player, this part is cake. Like, you just fly to the zone you've already done. And you just walk through here, no problem. Compare that to what we have to do here. Mountaineer Haggis? Oh god, this guy's movement is... Incredibly unpredictable. Oh, Jesus, we're gonna. <laughs> Chat. Chat. I think we did it. Is this guy gonna attack me? Yeah, I think he is. Oh, sh oh my god. Attack my little guys, dude. Not me. No. No, not like this. No, dude, no. No. Oh, my. 
is. Hmm. Well. That level 40 guy really uh, mucked things up for us. On the bright side, though, we'll be able to just uh, res and it'll, we'll be like right there behind enemy lines. Hate this game. We were doing so good, too. Like, we were right there. I have a newfound hatred for the holy decays who sit on Army of the Dead for multiple minutes, especially when playing priests looking for a PI target. Oh, dude. Why? So I mained Unholy DK uh, in Shadowlands Season 1 for my raid guild. And, uh, dude, he, there is no spell in this video game. Like, PI and Army of the Dead are like a better match than peanut butter and jelly like they are amazing together and if you're an unholy dk uh you need to be you should know your army of the dead timings in every dungeon like it's like it's essentially like bloodlust like you should be figuring out like how do I make sure I get as many of these as humanly possible? Mountaineer Morlick, this is the jerk that got me killed. I don't understand why anybody would ever sit on, uh... Ooh! Okay. Whoa! Whoa, 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 what, what, what are we doing here? Did I go to the wrong place? Oh, we did it. Now what do we do? What does this thing do? I want to shoot that guy down. That'd be sick. Increased vision range. What am I looking at, though? It's like horrible classic WoW graphics. Alright, let's see what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, being that we took such a long time to, uh, we better make sure we do this right. Sleeping bag quest city. I mean, I don't know what level of key you're doing, but I don't, I don't know how you could play Unholy DK and not realize that. Okay, Lock Madon. I hope you're not tired, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, I'm reading here. You can read with me. <laughs> uh, now we got to go back to the Thord and Wall. Once you reach it, walk along. Okay, well, it's a good thing we got that Hammerfall flight point, I guess. Dude. All right. Time. Oh, my goodness, you guys. I feel like this would be a lot cooler if, like, you could shoot the gun, but, uh, that has nothing to do with anything. Um. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Oh, we're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna... We lived! We did... I thought we were gonna die for sure. Just getting into 20 range on the DK, but Priest were at... I noticed it was 20-25 range. Some DPS are just not... Quick. Yeah, dude. I mean, Army of the Dead is s such an enormous cooldown. Like, how you could not be min-maxing that, like, and know, like... When I played Unholy DK, I knew, like... I treated it like a bloodlust. It's like, first pull, this boss. Like, I wouldn't hold on to it. I might hold it for, like, 
you know, one poll just to make sure I had it for like the next big one or something. But yeah, multiple minutes, that's insanity. Absolutely not. Okay, we haven't jumped all the way down the waterfall. We've only jumped partially down the waterfall. I didn't really want to do the second part of this, but I keep like avoiding finishing this quest because I don't want to do the running and I need to just do it. I need to just get it over with. Even though I'm becoming sicker by the moment. As we're watching the slow decline of a man. Uh huh. Let's see how we want to approach this here. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure I don't have anything to help me with this. Be what looks like the safest uh path downward. Doesn't look like this one. I'm gonna try something that's... So this all has ground at the bottom of it. I can see it. I feel like the best way to do it would actually be to, like, slide. Let's try it. How well do I know my WoW physics? Not well. Right. Uh, where did that put us? Oh, no, this is great. We'll totally take this. This is actually perfect. That just saved us like five minutes. Now we don't know if this guy is going to attack us or not. He looks like he wanted to. Yeah, that just saved us a ton of time. Alright, now where is this thing? So, walk of the Thornton Wall, order to Arathai. Okay, we act it looks like we need to be on the Hillsbrad side. And then, once you reach it, walk along the northward instead of crossing into the zone you'll see a busted cart parkour up the cart the right side worked best for my clumsy hooves okay we'll we'll figure that part out when we find the cart would i ever consider going back on holy yeah i probably would i don't know i was so into tanking for a while and then i just kind of like meh got sort of sick of it I don't know, the end of the season has just been sort of, uh, not a lot of fun. I think if I go back to anything in Season 3, it's going to be probably like Resto Shaman. But Unholy is fun. Unholy is like a super cool spec. It's just like, the, the unfortunate thing is it's just like bad a lot. I don't know, like, Blizzard doesn't really seem to care a whole lot about Unholy. I believe it's in a pretty good place right now. Let's see, I think Frost is like better, but let's see, where's Unholy? I'm looking at some creation right now. Trying to like get my eyes used to uh, this weird new sub creation. Unholy's like high B tier and Frost is like mid B tier. Um, yeah, I like Unholy. It's just like, it's one of those specs I think that can be kind of hard to find a group on. The thing you have going for you is that you have B res. So that can kind of sneak you into groups sometimes, but. It is a really cool, like you had said earlier, it's a really cool spec because it is like a. It's like a melee necromancer. Like, I feel like Unholy DK is really, like, what Death the like death Knight class is really all about. Or, like, what you imagine it to be all about. It's pretty awesome. 
It has had its moments. Like, I remember at the end of BFA, it was, like, silly broken. I think it was pretty good at... Uh, in the beginning of Shadowlands, it was also very good. I don't know if it was, like, top tier M+, but it was really good in Raid, because it just did, like, insane damage. But yeah, I really like Unholy Decay because it's, like, a pet class and, like, a dot class and a melee, like, all wrapped into one. But it's probably one of the more, like, interesting specs in the game, really. This gets forgotten a lot because I think a lot of times it's just not that great. I mean, unfortunately, like, if you want to be, uh, if you enjoy being a Flavor of the Month Mythic Plus player, Death Knight is probably not one of the specs that you're going to want to, like, focus too much on. I like Death Knight a lot, but, uh, I mean, if I was going to be like, hey, I just want to play something that's, like, always good. Then obviously you'd be like, uh, Paladin, Druid. I like using rotation helpers to, like, get me started. They're like training wheels. I don't know how it works anymore, but, I mean, when I played it, it was mostly, like, focused around your, uh, your ghoul. And, like, empowering him, and then, like, lowering the cooldown on that. And then you had, like, you're spreading your diseases around and stuff, too. Monstrosity. I remember in, uh, in the beginning of Shadowlands, there was, like, a legendary that put, like, a... Like, connected you and your ghoul with, like, a beam kind of thing? Like, a... You were, like, tethered to your ghoul when he got empowered into, like, the monstrosity thing. And that thing used to slap. Like, you didn't even have to try to, uh... You didn't even really have to try to position it, either. Like, if it was even close to stuff, it was just wrecking it. That was, like, the first legendary I got. I remember having, like, an internal struggle, because I was actually raiding, like, pretty seriously at the time. And I was, like, uh, on my Unholy Decay, I was just, like, destroying people. And I was like, dude, do I want to take the the Mythic Plus Legendary? Or do I want to take the, uh, the Raid Legendary? And I took the Mythic Plus Legendary. I think I was still killing it in Raid. Even, even still. Yeah, Unholy, Unholy is a super cool spec. It's definitely, like, way more complex than Frost ever is, though. I do not like... Like, I like Frost DK if you can play the, uh... Like, two-hand obliteration. To me, that's, like... That's what Frost DK really should be. Breath of Cindergrosra is, like, the... I don't know. I hate playing Breath. It's so punishing. Like, on that spec, if you don't, like, play your breath well, you were doing nothing. You were contributing nothing. It's... I don't know if there's a more punishing spec in the game than that one. Again, I don't know if it's changed since I played it. But... Talk about Feast or Famine, dude. That's, like, the most Feast or Famine spec ever. Okay, I can see on my map that there's the question mark. This is it, fam. We're finally gonna get this quest done. Is it on the other side? No, can't be. We must. We have to find the, this cart, and then I think we gotta like climb up there. Oh, here it is. Okay. No, they weren't kidding about parkour. We gotta, like... Wow, alright. 
Dude, this... I'm not gonna lie, this quest is a, a absolute pain in the ass. Huh, what do we, what do we think here? Ah, oh, Jesus. I know I could YouTube it, but I... I just want to do it. I want to figure it out. Oh, oh. Yes! Yes. Feels good. Okay. Oh, there we got some more. Come on, Blizz. Why did I just lose a bunch of my health? <laughs> I think it was my fort falling off. What? We finally caught it. Oh, and some of those uh student fodders too. Oh. Alright, that was fun. Streams over. <laughs> uh deputy deputy Daryl dude, you're uh you you just missed it. We're 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 logging off, buddy. This uh <laughs> I don't know if you've done the sleeping bag quest before, but oh my goodness, it is a pain. The things you'll do for 3% experience. Alright. Uh, guys, have a great rest of your weekend. Uh, enjoy your three-day weekend for you Americans out there as we celebrate President's Day. And uh, I will see you guys on Tuesday. Have a great night. See you in the next one. Thank you.